So, you guys have managed to foil me again. I don't know how this keeps happening over and over and over again. But my subscribers got me. They got me good. So like, two weeks ago, I was cruising around down, uh, trying to have myself a dual sport lunch. And I was vlogging and I'm talking like, yeah, you know, we're not gonna do anything special for uh, 400 subs. CDS is gonna go broke taking these trips. <laughs> and I had no idea that by the time we got to the White Rim Trail in Moab, Utah, a couple of, uh, like a week, I think it was a week, a week later, I would be at 400. So, there you go, I had 400 subs, man. Thank you guys so much, another milestone. I feel like I'm doing these videos saying thank you to you guys like every week <laughs> but uh, that's awesome I'm glad you guys are liking the videos I'm digging talking to everybody uh, I also wanted to mention I hope everybody's cool I got a couple of messages while we've been up here and I haven't been able to get back to them yet but we have no internet access um, and very very spotty phone service so I haven't been able to answer everybody but don't worry I will answer you I'll get back to everybody I promise What's happening guys? Well today we're riding the White Rim Trail with the uh, Dirt Vloggers. It's our last day in Moab and uh, we saved the big trip for last. It's a 112 mile loop uh, <clears throat> and a bunch of us unfortunately don't have enough gas to make the whole trip. So we've got people packing uh, extra gas on their bikes. I didn't even have lunch, I forgot, I was so unprepared. Thankfully Mr. Everide, one of the coolest men alive, <laughs> brought, me out to, uh, brought me out a sandwich from town because we're staying uh, not too far from here. But this is supposed to be one of the most beautiful trails in Moab. Everybody that I've talked to that's done it already has told me that it's just absolutely amazing. So I wanted to say just a huge thank you to everyone that came out to Moab, joined us. It's just been an absolute blast and it's, it's really hard to put into words, you know, what it's like to meet these guys that, uh, I've been talking to for almost the last year and uh, never met in person. You know, I've heard their voices, I've seen their videos, I've talked to them online plenty and I consider them friends, but now it just seems like kind of official, you know, they're <laughs> these guys are actually my friends now <laughs> and they've all been so cool and so nice and so generous and so helpful. Uh, a very, very deep, heartfelt thank you to uh, everybody in the group and uh, the guys that didn't get to make it, the guys that live too far away, uh, I, I know for sure that we will be doing something like this again probably next year. Even if it's not this exact, not you know, even if it's not exactly Moab, we will be doing something like this and it will be uh, just as awesome. <laughs> I was kind of telling Yama Joe last night that uh, this is kind of the practice run so we can figure, figure it out. But everything seems to have worked out beautifully. And I don't know, can you see some of the guys coming? 
I don't see anybody. I got one person behind me. Wow. Look at this. Look at that. Freaking beautiful. I can't believe it. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous. So when we met up this morning, we knew that it was gonna be windy and the wind's uh, been kicking probably about 30 miles an hour. And where we uh, geared up and stuff was probably like right up there, uh, right on the top of a cliff. And oh my, it was freezing. We were all, we were all standing around with our helmets on, with our face shields down to try and keep warm. It was insane. But uh, I also wanted to mention Mr. Ride a Map, give him a, a special shout out. Because the fact that he came all the way from Tennessee to ride with us, man, that was great. What an awesome guy. Hey! Kickstand. <laughs> wow. That's Mr. Mendo in front of me, riding uh, one of Ness's KTM's, or Ness's KTM, period. He only has one. <laughs> but uh, those guys had a bad uh, run of bad luck, but it seems like everybody's okay now and all the bikes are running. And uh, Mr. Mendo actually wasn't feeling too good yesterday, so he didn't even come out and ride with us at Beef Basin. Uh, I think he just needed a day to chill and get refreshed because he really hurt himself on the, their bike recovery mission earlier in the week which I uh, already talked about so glad he's feeling better and uh, back in action ready to ride with us today for the final hurrah but uh, well I'm jumping all over the place here so jumping back to um, Mr. Ride Map and Yama Joe they left this morning uh, about 6 a.m. and they uh, headed back to Albuquerque and Mr. <laughs> Mr. Ride Map is trying to kill Yama Joe. <laughs> Yama Joe is all confused because he's never had someone, I, I don't know, I don't know, I mean I'm sure he's had plenty of people that could keep up with him but he's like every time I turn around Ride Map is right behind me. He's like it's crazy. Yeah, we're gonna go first gear down, down higher. Wow. This is so cool. A little bit of a drop, huh? Just a little. So, we didn't really know if uh, Miss Stacy could do this in her truck, and she didn't really want to risk it. So she decided not to. Because you definitely cannot take quads on this. That's good information to give you guys. No quads, plated or not, does not matter. They're not allowed on this trail. Uh, but she didn't want to she didn't want to get halfway out here and realize she couldn't do it and uh, be in trouble with her uh, daily driver perfectly understandable
I think that's Ryan up there. Mr. Nest Up Productions coming on down behind me. This is too freaking awesome. Wow, do you guys see this view? It's beautiful. How's it going? I just can't get over it. <sighs> bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. But one thing I noticed that I was doing yesterday was I was trying to ride with the guys and uh, wasn't doing my usual thing. I wasn't looking around and seeing the beauty. I was looking around and seeing where so-and-so was at or what so-and-so was doing and trying to trying to ride my, you know, trying to ride as best as I can, you know. <laughs> Still a newbie, but you know, I think I did pretty well. I was middle of the pack most of the time most of the trip except from the slick rock I was in the back oh that stuff just wears you out but apparently uh Everide and uh Jay his brother and um I think Mr. Duff Factor went I'm not sure who else went over and rode slick rock trail or a portion of it last night at like midnight <laughs> So that's pretty sick. That's very impressive. Wow. Oh, and we had a, uh, a late arrival, but Glad he finally showed up. Mr. Rojo Neck walked over and said hi this morning out of nowhere. I didn't even know he was here. Nobody told me. So it was cool to finally get to meet Mr. Rojo Neck. Mr. Rojo Neck. <laughs> and it's going to be a blast to ride with him today. <clears throat> This might be a really quiet video, guys. I'm just going to put that right out there because I, I, I oh my God, <laughs> I am just in awe of the beauty. Wow. This is pretty freaking amazing, to be honest. <laughs> wow, look at this. So I brought, uh, I brought both cameras, but I'm only going to shoot one at a time uh, because the trail takes about, uh, Robbie told me it takes about five and a half, six hours. So I don't think I'll have time.
Have you ever seen anything like this before? Never anything even remotely the same. Wow. Now, well, now I see why it says 15 miles an hour. I was like, all right, maybe 30. No. <laughs>